bill is being discussed in the Senate that could help agencies keep officers after they've completed the police academy. It's called Senate Bill 2037. Our Quentin Smith speaks with the local police chief about this legislation. Quentin, what would happen if an officer leaves before that two years expires? Well, Scott, there would be a price to pay. The way it works is, once a rookie officer is hired, they're sent to the police academy, and that department pays for the training. Now, if they leave before two years on the job, their new employer must then pick up the tab. Columbus Police Chief Fred Shelton says this is a bill he's in favor of, and he believes it will prevent officers from quickly jumping from one department to the next. Great. Awesome, and let's get rolling. That's how Columbus Police Chief Fred Shelton feels after reading over Senate Bill 2037. The bill requires an officer to stay with their respective department for two years after finishing up at the police academy. When you put that much training into an officer, or you do that initial investment, you want to return on your investment. Mm -hmm. It's a good investment to send an officer to an academy and give them to come back, but it's a better investment if that officer, after you put that investment, he stays in that community and he grows. If an officer decides to leave before those two years are up, the new agency the officer is going to would then have to reimburse the department they just left. Overall, it takes about $10,000 we put into an officer. $3,600 for the academy, his salary, the travel costs, and again, when we lose, so we're not just losing the officer, we're losing finances. So this, at least, we could take this money, recoup this money back for the money that we put into this officer and invest in trying to get some more officers. Officers joining an agency and then quickly leaving is something Chief Shelton is no stranger to. He admits whenever that happens, it creates several challenges for the department. It's a financial burden, it's a manpower burden as well. I want to keep badges and guns on the street. Mm -hmm. and to make our citizens safe. If the bill passes, the new employer that the officer transfers to would also have two years to pay off their debt, which is something some departments have been neglecting to do. It's sad to say there are some cases where agency hadn't paid us yet. That's why Shelton is hoping the bill will get passed and help turn things around. He believes Senate Bill 2037 will help retain officers and prevent other agencies from trying to dip into another department's staff. We're a Mid-sized agency, but mm -hmm. you look at you look at a smaller community that has five or six officers. Mm. That's tough on them. Now, again, the bill is still being discussed in the Senate right now as we speak. If it's passed, it'll go into effect July 1st. To read more about Senate Bill 2037, just head on over to our website at wcbi.com.